Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is time for one of my favorite videos of the month, the Sheet Load Showcase. I hope you'll stick around and see what all of my collaborators created this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share a look with you at what all of my collaborators created using the latest sheet load of cards. Today, I'll be sharing their creations from December 2021. After watching this video, if you'd like to go get more details on any of their cards, as always, they are linked in that description box below. Now, if you haven't yet downloaded or saw how I made my first set using December 2021, the debut and process video will be linked in the description box. And as long as you're a subscriber to the channel, you can download the printable for free. In front of me are the nine cards that I created this month. I have a close up look at each one of them in the debut video, and you can see how I made them in the process video. And as always, if you're inspired to play along, there are three ways that you can show us your sheet load here on YouTube or over on Instagram with the monthly hashtags. Or you can send in a card for the end of my month video. I have a video with all of the details called show us your sheet load guidelines. Once again, linked in that description box. Let's go ahead and see what the collaborators created this month. Yes, I am on my way to 25K, and I'm hoping with a little help from you that we can make this happen, maybe even by the end of 2021. I would love for you to share my channel with your crafty friends, crafty family members, crafty neighbors, crafty coworkers, even just a random shopper in your local scrapbook or stamp store. You can let them know about my channel, and if they're interested in subscribing, that will help me hit that 25K. First up today is Teresa of Fresh and Renewed with Teresa, and you might recognize her cards from the thumbnail this month. I love these fun images and bright colors. Beth of Bourbon Creek Crafts decided to use this month's layout for her Christmas photo cards. She has put the sentiment so that when the picture is ready, she can just slip it right in behind that. Amalia of Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia is still working on the Cayenne Company pad and I really like how this month she rounded some of the corners on her cut pieces. Debbie of Project 39 Mini Albums created a black and white winter set this month and if you haven't yet watched her video make sure to get over there and check out how she made her third piece of pattern paper when she didn't have one that coordinated. Karen Aiken is ready for summer with her set of birthday cards this month. I just love the change from the more wintry or Christmas colors that I've been seeing a lot lately. Toby of the Biddy Penny channel did something completely out of the box this month. When she got the new printable, she used her scraps that she had throughout the month, cutting them down to the sizes given for a single card and created cards with all of her scraps. What a great way to use those up as you go. 
And last on the YouTube channel is Chelsea of the Creative Chelsea channel. I'm loving the gray monochromatic paper she chose and that bright pop of color with the focal flowers. First up on the Instagram team this month is Jessica of Jessie Kate Creates. Loving the traditional Christmas colors on these and how her focal points look like little postage stamps. Lisa, aka at Scrapbook Girl, used some furry friends on her cards this month. I love the cute little images and those punny sentiments. Mariah of at Fuzzy Slippers Designs created this beautiful Christmas set. I love kind of the vintage feel of these and how she used some cut-aparts for her focal points. Stacy, who is at Craftaholic Mama over on Instagram, also created a set of Christmas cards this month. Once again, a beautiful kind of vintage feel to these with those lovely layered focal points. Liz of at Lizzie's Happy Mail created a set of Christmas cards and what I like most about hers is that unique color palette for Christmas which is kind of like a mint green and gray. And finally our blog team members and first up for the blog is Pam also known as Airborne Wife Stamping. She has created a lovely set of Christmas cards and I'm really liking that large ephemera she has used over with her sentiment. Sandy of Stamp with Sandy will finish us off with some Christmas cards as well. She has used a brighter take on the more traditional colors and I love the little layered bows next to each sentiment. I don't know about you, but I am super inspired after seeing all of those together. I love how each collaborator took the sheet load and made it their own and added special little details. Don't forget, you can check out all of their links in that description box below. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.